Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Talk channel on YouTube. We have a really interesting problem here to solve. It says the tangent lines are drawn from one point to this curve, and they want to know where does the tangent line touch the curve. This is a really interesting problem in that it combines quite a few geometric things, algebra things, along with calculus things. So, picture worth thousand words. So let's start with the picture. Zero three is over here. Y is 0 and 3. And the curve is facing downward. I missed the minus sign here. It's not quite a symmetrical, but you get the picture. Okay, so they're saying, I'm going to draw a tangent line, but it, it will touch the curve at one point. Of course, there's two tangent lines, one on each side. And they want to know where those points are. Okay, this is a really interesting problem. Let's see, this is x0, y0. We don't know where they are. But because they're on the curve, the function of the curve says it's equal to minus 3, keep on mind, forgetting this minus, minus x squared. So this one is really equal to, we're going to call it x0. We're going to solve for x0. And then it's minus 3x0 squared. Okay, so that's where the point is. Now, to, in order to find the slope, so basically they're saying at this point, the slope of the curve or derivative of the curve matches that of this line. Okay, so we're going to use that relationship to establish an equation, and from the equation we're going to solve for x0. Let's find if f prime of x. That's a pretty easy one to find, it's minus 6x. So at x0, at x equal to x0, we have a slope of minus 6x0. Okay, we're going to keep this one uh, on one side of the equation. The other side of the equation is giving two points. One point is 0 and 3, and the other point is x0, our unknown point. We're going to use the slope formula to figure out. Slope says it's changing in y over changing in x. So we're going to grab changing in y, which is 3 minus minus, so that becomes 3 plus. 3x0 squared, okay, and then 0 minus x0 is minus x0. So once again, I have two points. So here's the first equation. Second equation is um, I have two points here. This is my unknown points, but nonetheless, I can still express this in that slope is equal to changing y over changing x. It's rise over run, if you remember from back in algebra 1. Um, now we have a, another equation expressing the same slope. And since the two lines are going to touch, they are the same slope, we're going to set them equal. So minus 6x0 is equal to 3. Let's pull the 3 out. 1 plus x0 squared divided by minus x0. Okay. Now let's solve this equation. So I have a 3. Well, it doesn't really matter. Let's put it back in there. Um, times uh, equal to 6x0 squared. All I did is cross multiply, basically. This one translated in 3 minus uh, 3x0 squared is equal to 0. And factor that, I we'll have a 3, 1 minus x0 squared is equal to 0. Okay, and then I'm running out of room here, but one more line. This is not 0, so this one says x0 is equal to plus or minus 1. Okay. Given that, let's go back to the picture here. So the x is equal to plus 1. That gives y is equal to minus 3. Okay. x0 equal to minus 1. y is still minus 3. So the two points that we have is 1 minus 3, and minus 1, 3, okay? Um, the trick of uh, this problem, I think, review-wise, I think having this picture is very important. Once you have the picture, you realize this point and this point together, you have a slope, delta y over delta x. At the slope of this curve, at this point, tangent line, has a slope also of f prime of x evaluated at this point. Um, once you got over there, 
setting up the equation is pretty simple and, and makes sense straightforward. Okay, hope this helps. Have a confident day.